U.S. military aid will reach Ukraine in a few months, by which time Russian attack will intensify. Sources among U.S. and European officials have informed the New York Times that the U.S. has supplied Ukraine with small batches from the first 1 billion euros military aid package announced after the funding was unblocked in Congress. However, the main batch from the large aid package will arrive in Ukraine in several months. The New York Times states that Ukraine received a batch of anti-tank missiles, ammunition and 155mm artillery rounds from the US as early as the 28th of April. The second batch of American aid arrived on the 29th of April. Next day, a new batch of Patriot interceptor missiles from Spain arrived in Poland on Tuesday. A senior Spanish official stated that they will be at the Ukrainian front soon. A part of new armament for Ukraine was delivered even before the announcements. A UK source told the New York Times that parts of the UK package announced on the 23rd of April by UK Prime Minister Rishi Sunak started arriving several weeks ago. Nonetheless, the bigger part of the weapons from large aid packages announced by the US, the UK and Germany will be delivered to Ukraine in a few months. The first reason is logistics. Combat vehicles, speedboats, modern guns, launchers and air defense systems are often transported by sea and by train with enhanced security due to their size. An American official told the New York Times that most of the large weapons and even a part of ammunition will be sent from the US and will most likely be delivered by the middle of summer, if not later. Moreover, the American side is yet to determine where it can get the equipment promised for Ukraine in a way so as not to endanger the combat ability of NATO units using it. On the 24th of April, US President Joe Biden signed legislation enacted by Congress that offers about 61 billion US dollars in new military and economic aid to Ukraine, as well as help to other US allies. Heavy rains in the southern Brazilian state of Rio Grande do Sul killed 39 people, with another 74 still missing, the state civil defense agency said the local government has declared a state of calamity in areas where more than 67,000 people in nearly 150 municipalities are impacted. Almost 10,000 have been displaced and more than 4,500 are in temporary shelters, the civil defense said DIT was the fourth such environmental disaster in a year, following floods in July, September, and November that killed 75 people in total, the flooding statewide has surpassed that seen during a historic 1941 deluge, according to the Brazilian Geological Service. In some cities, water levels were at their highest since records began nearly 150 years ago, according to AP. On May 2, a dam at a hydroelectric plant between the cities of Bento Goncalves and Cotipara partially collapsed and entire cities in the Taquari River Valley, such as Legetto and Estrella, were completely overtaken by water. Operators reported electricity, communications and water cuts across the state. More than 24,000 people had to leave their homes, according to the Civil Defense Agency, without internet, telephone service or electricity, residents struggled to provide updates or information to their relatives living in other states. Helicopters flew continually over the cities while stranded families with children awaited rescue on the rooftops. The climate crisis, caused primarily by humans burning fossil fuels, is supercharging extreme weather around the world, making many events more intense and more frequent. A sala da Josi não tem chave para erguer as coisas. Ó, oh, Rogério, a máquina do Nel, do Neide. Ah, para ajudar ainda, vai que a cônica quebrou a gabine, ó. Do Nel, do Neide. Ah, pra ajudar ainda, vai que a cônica quebrou a gabine, ó.